In this video, I will talk about retinopathy of prematurity, or ROP. First, I will draw a picture of the eye. Second, I will talk about what happens when blood vessels in the eye do not develop naturally. Third, I will talk about the six stages of ROP. This is a simple image of our eye looking at it sideways. In the back of our eye is a special layer called the retina. The retina is what allows our eye to see. Inside the eye are blood vessels that supply blood to the eye. The pupil is the opening in the front of the eye where the picture of what we see enters and travels to the back of the eye. The picture falls on the retina. Preemies born at or less than 30 weeks or preemies born with a birth weight of less than 3 pounds and 3 ounces may develop an eye problem called retinopathy of prematurity or ROP. What happens in ROP? ROP causes blood vessels to grow in abnormal ways. The blood vessels grow abnormally in the eye and can grow inside the layer of the eye called the retina. This can cause scarring of the retina and when the scars shrink they can pull on the retina layer causing the retina to become removed from the back of the eye causing what is called retinal detachment. As you can see I've drawn the retina detached from the back of the eye. Since the retina is what allows our eyes to see. If it becomes removed from the back of the eye, it can lead to blindness. How is ROP diagnosed? All preemies born at or less than 30 weeks or with a birth weight of less than three pounds and three ounces are seen by a special eye doctor four to six weeks after birth. The eye doctor will check the baby's eyes many times throughout the stay in the NICU and after the baby goes home. Now I'll talk a little about the six stages of ROP. When the baby is seen by the special eye doctor, it will be determined what ROP stage the baby has. The doctor may say ROP stage zero, which means there is no ROP, but the baby is still at risk for ROP until the blood vessels have completely grown. The eye doctor will continue to check the baby's eyes. Stage 1 is the least severe or the mildest, up to stage 5 being the most severe. Stage 1 occurs with mildly abnormal blood vessel growth. Stage 2 occurs with moderately abnormal blood vessel growth. Many premature babies who develop stage 1 and stage 2 do not need treatment. Stage 3 is severely abnormal blood vessel growth. The doctors will try to treat ROP before stage 4 develops. Stage 4 occurs when the retina is partially detached or removed from the back of the eye. Stage 5 occurs when the retina is completely detached or removed from the back of the eye. Both stage 4 and stage 5 are serious the baby can have severe visual problems and possible blindness. What can be done about ROP? The special eye doctors will check the baby's eyes. The NICU doctors and eye doctors will let you know about the ROP stage and help you decide what will work best for your baby. What are the possible treatments? One treatment option is laser surgery. Another possible option is a medication that is given as a shot into the baby's eye to slow the abnormal blood vessel growth. To review, in babies born prematurely at or less than 30 weeks or with a birth weight of less than 3 pounds and 3 ounces, the eye is at risk for ROP. In these babies, the blood vessels inside the eye can grow abnormally and can grow inside the special layer called the retina. If the blood vessels grow abnormally and scar, 
This can cause the retinal layer to become removed from the back of the eye, causing retinal detachment. Since the retinal layer is what allows our eye to see, if it becomes detached, it can lead to blindness. There are treatment options if the ROP is in a severe stage. The baby's eyes will be checked by a special eye doctor every few weeks in the NICU and afterwards to make sure the eyes are growing normally. There are six stages of ROP, with stage zero meaning no current ROP, stage one being the mildest, up to stage five being the most severe. The doctors will let you know what stage ROP your baby might have. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned more about retinopathy of prematurity or ROP.